respect and salute our service members. That's what we, we are all about right now. They fought so hard so we can have the freedoms that we enjoy right now. But who is fighting and sticking up for them? Morning anchor Justin Wormuth reports. A bit more. When United States Army veteran Dee Jones looks at herself in uniform, a flood of emotions start pouring in. It means the world to me. I enlisted in the military back in 1982 and I served 22 years. During my time, I learned a lot. I learned how to be loyal, how to you know, provide selfless service to my country, and I learned just camaraderie and dedication to our country. Today, Jones is part of the Mayor's Veterans Advisory Council for the City of Orlando. The group of volunteers represents more than 20 veterans organizations, all with one goal in mind. We have homeless veterans. We have veterans who don't know what their benefits are. We have veterans who don't know what um, it is to go to seek medical attention, and that's what we do. We sit, we meet, and we collaborate, and we share information so no vet is left behind. We're a group of volunteers, and the Veterans Council is made up of all the different leaders of the veteran service organizations throughout the region. We come together once a month to be a conduit to serve our veteran community. Michael Waldrip, also an Army vet who serves on the council, calls Orlando's veterans community strong. We are just a group that comes together uh, to, for whatever needs that the community may have and we always try to mentor those that are rotating out of the military that their service is not over, that we still have to serve our community. And the way he still serves, by hiring veterans for his business, Blue Core Design and Construction. To this date, 60% of his employees have served in the military. I felt like, again, our service was not over when I hung the uniform up and, and a dream and a passion of mine was to build and grow a small business in and around veterans. And that's what we're trying to achieve with Blue Cord. Uh, the Blue Cord is the infantryman's cord. So you know, at the core purpose of our business is not just the bottom line of a balance sheet, but it's to serve our community. And we do so through the veteran community. This year, as the fireworks brighten the night sky celebrating our independence, a different emotion will no doubt be felt as well, as the community is still coming to grips with the Pulse nightclub tragedy. We've got to continue to keep our community safe, and we have to continue to realize and be thankful for our, our freedom, and that freedom is not free. And for Jones, fireworks at the fountain couldn't come at a better time. Because of the recent events in Orlando, you can actually see the strength of Orlando. One individual is not going to make or break Orlando. And I think this event that's coming up in Lake Eola will definitely show that Orlando is very strong. You'll see people bonding. You'll see people hugging. You'll see people crying. And that's what we need.